I was just singing um uh <laughs> Let me know. I was singing of uh, Al Green. Anyway, what's up, everybody? It's your girl Tendai, the Hair Whisperer, and we are back here. I, I can't even remember. Oh, I was singing. Don't you know that I'm still in love? Should have been in love with you. Yeah. I was singing uh, Al Green. Sing me. Let me know. But anyway, how y'all doing out there? It's your girl Tendai, the Hair Whisperer, back once again on the Natural Hair Mag Facebook page. Yeah, so I'm here. I got new glasses, guys. I'm gonna show y'all my new glasses. These are my new. These are my actual glasses, so I can see. I look real studious, don't I? But the problem is, though, these have a glare in them from the lights, so I don't wear them while I'm actually texture talking live. But uh, yeah, who do we have on here? Okay, so if you're new to texture talk. We have some rules, two rules. The first rule is make sure you say my natural is my natural and let me know what city you're tuning in from. And also share this video. Be sure to share this video right now because we're gonna get into this whole texture talk and it's gonna be amazing, we're gonna have a great time. I got some glasses so I can actually see the screen. And yeah, this is gonna be a great, 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 great show. So what's up everybody? I wanna know where you're tuning in from what city and also tell me my natural is my natural and share this video what my natural is my natural means is that your dna produces what it produces so you might as well not hate on it, it means fall in love with yourself fall in love with your hair texture there's absolutely nothing wrong with your hair hair texture literally i took these glasses off let me tell y'all something about turning 40 plus you can't see Jack. I promise y'all, when I turned 40 on my 40th birthday, I woke up and I looked at the clock and I was like, what number is that? That's what happened to me. I'm sure it probably worked for that way for y'all too. So anyway, Pearly Daniel, hey lady. She says, hey Tendai, blessings to you. My natural friend, my natural is my natural from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha, Wisconsin is in the building. What's going on everybody? Jamila Alwood, my natural is my natural in Sanford, Florida. Very nice to meet you too. Hey, I'm going to be in Tampa in a few months. Um, I'll let you guys know when that is. Uh, we have Dolitha from Cleveland, Ohio. My natural is my natural. I got I got family in Cleveland. We might be related. You know how people do. You know, we are related in some kind of way. But anyhow, yes, please share this video. This is going to be an amazing show tonight. So we're going to talk about some great things. But before I do that, let's see. Let's see who else we have on here. My natural is my natural. Denver, Colorado. What's up, Sharon Johnson? Nice to have you here. Please share the video. Remember, my natural is my natural. So y'all see, I got some things going on right about now, right? Y'all see this? Y'all see my inches? Mm. Oh, uh, uh, I did it myself. These are faux locks. What I like about these guys is that they are super, super lightweight, meaning that they're not heavy at all. And it allows me to be able, you see how big the partings are, the, the sections? It allows me to be, be able to uh, put my hair away for a bit without causing damage. So I talk about things like um, moisture retention, how to keep your hair from breaking off and all of that. And I'm going to share some of those secrets with you guys today. Uh, for those of you who like to go into protective quote unquote styles for a while, but not sure why your protective style is not protecting your hair. Um, so yeah, that, that that's what we're going to talk about tonight, how to keep get the best out of your protective styles. And um, let me just say this. Shout out to you ladies who have weathered the storms, weathered the cold weather. If you're in a warmer climate, shout out to you too. But still, there's always some shift in the, the atmosphere and the, the, the weather can suck your hair dry. You know, even in warmer climates, your hair will respond differently during the winter months than it does in the summer months. So we're going to talk about all of that. OK, uh, we've got Cynthia Jackson. She says, my natural is my natural Detroit, Michigan in the house. What's going on? Nice to see you. So let's talk about that. How many of you guys have ever experienced when you go into braids and when you come out of the braids, you've got all of this shed hair coming out? It just seems like it's just all this hair coming out in the braids. It's a scary sight, a scary, scary sight. It drives people insane. I mean, yeah, make some noise. Y'all show me, 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 whatever. Let me know if you've experienced that. I have definitely... What's up, Mississippi? Sandra Marie Prince. Nice to have you here. Greenwood, Mississippi. Shout out to you guys. I got family down that way too. But anyway, um, yeah. So why does that happen? 
All right, I'm going to talk to you guys about that. Um, so here we go. Our hair sheds about 100 to 150 strands a day, okay? Not a big issue, but it is what happens. It's, it's what happens. You naturally shed hair every single day. Now, there's a difference between breakage and shedding. Breakage is when it's happening outside of the hair follicle, meaning down at your scalp. It's literally out further, and it's chopping pieces of your hair off. So that's breakage. There is a difference, okay? Now, the reason why you get, seems like more in your braid, naturally, if you've been in a braid for um, a couple months, I'm gonna say like a month or two, some of y'all wear braids, the braids fall off, literally. And, uh, <laughs> but, you, but you end up, when you take it down, you got all this hair. So you've got shed hair, which is natural, okay? It's normal to have shed hair come out. But when you have, um an uh, excess amount that is literally breakage and shed hair coming out and that could be a problem pro that is a problem okay because you're literally defeating the purpose of um growing your hair out in these natural styles i mean in these protective styles and so it no longer becomes protective but it becomes a catalyst for you to lose your hair all right so um let's discuss some things that you guys can do to combat that dryness in your hair. The very first thing you guys want to do before you go into a braid style is co-wash your hair. Co-wash, not cold, but C-O, co-wash your hair. You know, um, there's several co-washes on the market, but for the sake of staying true to me and my brand, I'm always going to promote Whisper Whip Hydration. Okay. And the reason why I say do this is because when you wash your hair with this, it's literally going to stop all of that um, dryness from taking place on your hair. And it will help you to be able to get the softness and moisture levels where they need to be before you go into a protective style. All right. So let me say this. Fiber, synthetic fibers like this, any cankalon, toyokalon, any one of them lawns that you, you could buy in the store, this is a fiber that's kind of like, it mimics a cottony type of feel. And we know that anything uh, cotton will actually suck the moisture from your hair. Literally will do that. So the in, in uh, sucking the moisture from your hair, you want to have a barrier there. If you go in with shampoos and then you... Um, you know, condition your hair, You the shampoo takes your hair and bottoms it out. So I don't care what kind of shampoo it is. I see somebody um, saying uh, some sulfur eight or something on there. We're going to talk about all of that. But, you know, the shampoo is going to bottom your hair out. And then you end up being left with these brittle strands that are prepared now to break off and become even drier. Okay. So yeah, you know, your dry hair, shampoo, dehydrated. That's what shampoo does. Then you try to condition it to bring the levels back up, but it's not enough to support you during a protective style. So whisper whip your hair first. All right. The second thing I want you to do is after you whisper whip, you want to do a deep conditioning mask. Here's one that I recommend. This is my Argon Deluxe, Argon Deluxe Hydrating Mask. They're amazing. Here's a, here's a cute little girl. I'll put, put her up on the broadcast so you guys can see. She's actually um, got the Argon Deluxe mask in her hand. We actually use that on her hair to do finger coils. The cool thing about that is that you can actually leave that mask in as well, all right? You can actually leave that mask in as well. So it's a beautiful thing, um, raising the moisture level. So we got the Whisper Whip, boom, and we got the mask, okay? And then, oh, I had it upside down. Whisper Whip in the mask. Super duper important. Oh, wait, Pearly Daniel, you know what? You are my girl. I was wondering who was going to catch me tonight. You are my girl. And just because of that, I got a gift for you, Pearly Daniel. So make sure after the show, you inbox me with your address because I'm going to send you a bottle of Whisper Whip and some of the products that I'm gonna be talking about tonight. So shout out to you, pal. I was wondering who was gonna get that. Remember ladies, hydration is key. You gotta drink your water. And usually, usually <laughs> I have a bottle of water, but tonight I got a red cup. Throw it back y'all, throw it, oh, oh. Where your water at ladies? I need you to get your water. I don't care what kind of water, what kind of container you put it in. I got a red cup straight out the party. And this is how we're gonna do this. Mm. I might have water in here and I might not. I'm just kidding. It's water, y'all. It's water. <laughs> but for the sake of being in a party mood, wrapped up in love. I got my red cup tonight with uh, my water in it. So, yes, let's do that. So thank you so much, Pearly Daniel. All right. So um, let's let's continue on with our, our subject tonight. 
Um, so we talked about the Whisper Whip, raising the moisture levels and your mask, super important, right? Super important. Now, behind that, what you could do is literally put another barrier right before you braid. Um, the moisturizing curl cream or argon oil would be amazing for that. And I'll show you guys just so you, you have that. Then I'm going to get into answering some of the questions that you guys are typing in. Bam! That's the Argon Deluxe Argon Oil. Pearl, you're going to be getting some of that too, girl. Ooh, check her out. She want a whole bundle tonight. A whole bundle. So you put that in your hair while it's wet and then proceed to braid your hair. Now, what I did with these, these locks are a little bit different because I, um, again, they're, they're, I should have brought those locks in here so you can see them, but they're in, they're already created. It's a free trust lock. And what I do is I section it out and I braid my hair in and then I wrap my hair around it to create this lock effect where it looks like it's kind of growing out of my scalp. But I got a lot of compliments on it. People are loving it. I actually got a little color without color in my hair. Bam, you see that? My little color in my hair. So yeah, it's a great way, protective style. It's not heavy, super lightweight. And that's what I really like about those. Let me go down and look at some of the questions that you guys have. Oh, by the way, I wrapped my hair around, but I use the curl cream, the Argon Deluxe Curl Cream. I'll get that for you too, so you can see. This is the Argon Deluxe Curl Defining Cream. Amazing for defining your curls, but it's also really good for just hydration. I tell you what, guys, if you go to a salon and get your hair done, getting these products are going to be amazing for you either way it goes because it allows your stylist not only to be introduced into wonderful hydrating products that support you in your natural hair journey, but it's versatile. They're able to do silk presses with it. They're able to do um, your, your co-washes with it. But the whole idea is to keep your hair hydrated and keep it on your head, okay? This is what the bundle actually looks like. If you get that, if you go to my website, I'll show that to you. Um, well, yeah, this is it right here. I'll show that bundle to you. There we go. There it is. So you actually get the shampoo, the conditioner, the curl cream, and the gel. And the gel. That's the bundle that you get, okay? All right. So let's get to some of these questions. All right. Marissa O'Connor, she says, thank you. You're welcome. Hydration. Where's your water? I have my red cup. You saw that? My natural is my natural South Carolina. My natural is my natural racing Wisconsin. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Linda Wiggins says, whisper whip. Yes, I love it. Awesome. Uh, San John says, tea tree oil, sulfur eight. Uh, okay. I see a question here. How do I get rid of scalp fungus? Yeah. So the thing, this is the thing. Um, Yes, tea tree oil is amazing for it. And so for eight, you could definitely do that. But um, even more in depth, what I've, the thing with uh, scalp funguses, guys, is that um, I've noticed that it really can cause a number on your, uh, hey, Sanjan, on your scalp as far as the hair follicles being clogged up. And when that happens, the hair does not grow from those places. The hair literally stays down underneath the scalp. And that's the reason why a lot of people have started using Monistat 7, which is yeast infection cream. Yes. Let me let that sink in. Yes. Yeast infection cream. Uh, Monistat 7 on the scalp. It kills a fungus. It kills the fungus because that's what it does. It's yeast. A lot of times that fungus comes from, you know, when you were getting relaxers, the pH levels being pushed up so high on the Richter scale, not the Richter scale, but the pH scale, that your your you know, everything's out of balance at that point. And when your pH levels are out of whack like that, you get a fungus. A fungus starts to grow in damp, dark places. A lot of times after getting those relaxers, people were getting glue ins and so ins, dark place. Okay. And then when you sweat, that's damp. So damp plus dark plus pH levels off means fungus. And that's where it comes from. So that's why people started using the Monistat 7 to cure that fungus or kill the fungus. This is the deal, guys. I don't care if you had a relaxer 20 years ago. If you've never treated the fungus in your scalp, let me tell y'all, it ain't going nowhere. It's still there. And yet that's probably why a lot of times why your hair is not growing out. It's still underneath your scalp. It's not being functioning properly because the hair, it ain't coming out. It's going to stay down in there and, you know, the hair follicle won't function properly. OK, so that's what happens a lot of times for, for people. And uh, that's why it's working, because it kills the fungus. That's what it does. OK, so, yeah, well, while tea tree is good. So for eight, the reason why I won't 
just definitely say um, like head and shoulders and things like that. The reason why I don't go that route is because um, the shampoo literally it works well on people who have straight hair, but on textured hair, our hair is drier in the beginning. So going in with a shampoo that's going to strip more oil out literally causes more problem for our hair, it makes it really, really dry. So I hear that a lot of times from different people. Um, yes, congratulations, everybody. So this is the deal. If you guys have questions for me about anything um, hair related, you know, ask me. I mean, it could be not be hair related and I could try to give you an answer, but this is texture talk. So, you know, I need y'all to get on board. <laughs> Do my eyes look extra big like Fred Sanford in these glasses? Tell the truth, y'all. I feel like they do. Or maybe maybe I can just see and I don't realize. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, thank you so much. Someone said I love your hair. So let's see. This is thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so here we go, guys. We were talking about the hydration levels. I want to show you guys some pictures. I actually... I uh, want to let you guys know that Whisper Whip is not just for you, all right, not just for your children, but it's also for the men in your life. Let me show you this. So here is a family here. So I'm, I'll put the family up there first. So I know how some people are kind of thirsty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's a family picture. This is the husband, wife, and the daughter. The husband, wife, and the daughter, okay? And... You see how the husband has the beard, big giant beard? He looks like an upside down afro, but yeah, it's on his beard. He uses a whisper whip on his beard. It's amazing because guess what, guys? The beard is hair also, and that's why it works so well. It actually helps for those of you guys who have men in your lives who have those big giant beards, they feel scruffy and rough. The way you can get it soft and hydrated is by using the Whisper Whip Hydration right on their faces. They will absolutely love it. So I'll show you guys a picture of this gentleman here again. And uh, yeah, he's posing with his Whisper Whip. See him? Uses that right on his beard, and it makes a huge difference. Huge difference. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys some other pictures too. So I'm getting back to that. But yeah, so just so you know, that along with the argon oil, so the Whisper Whip coupled with the argon oil makes an amazing gift set for some of the guys. Ladies, <laughs> his wife was like, I'm tired of him using my Whisper Whip and his beard and my oils and stuff. I'm like, no, no, get him his own bottle. And he'll be happy with it. So there you go. The Whisper Whip and the oil, wonderful for men. They love it. Uh, my husband especially loves the oil. Yeah, he especially loves the oil. You know, I walk in there and he got my oil. I'm like, look here, I'm going to need you to stop lathering up your bald head with my stuff, okay? And that's what he's doing with my oils and my thing. No, I, don't, I share it with him. My husband is so supportive. Here's a picture of him, guys at one of our uh, vendor events. And that's my husband, uh, the back of him anyway, but he was working so hard. Shout out to my husband, I love him. And uh, he's amazing with helping me behind the scenes with everything. So that's him on the camera, taking pictures and all that good stuff. And I hope to really run into some of you guys at some of the events I have coming up. I know I'm gonna be in Tampa, Florida really soon. Um, I have, I think Carolina is coming up and there's a few different dates. I'm gonna make sure to post those, but I'll keep, I'll let you guys know. Pearly Daniel, she's like, oh my God, his beard, wow. Isn't it gorgeous, it's like huge. You know, he's got a lot of great hair. Like they say, you have an amazing, face of hair, not a head of hair. You have an amazing face of hair. Yes. So um, Linda Wiggins says, can you pin your website below? I will definitely do that. I do have a link where you guys will be able to go in and get a discount. So I want to post, post the link. Just stay tuned and I will post the link for you guys to be able to go on the website and purchase products. Okay. So um, also I want to send a special shout out to myself. I was actually nominated for the uh, women in business operations. We both through Grace Hill. It's an amazing program for women like myself who wanted to start a business and they help us out with all these resources, everything from banking strategies to education to networking. It's amazing. So I was nominated for the wall of fame for Weibo. So shout out to me. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with shouting yourself out. And that's what I did. Okay. That's what I did. You guys are not full of questions. Oh, let's see. 
um, says, are you coming to Wisconsin anytime soon? You know what? I don't know, but we could probably work that out. We could work that out to Wisconsin. And then, yes, um, North Carolina, I do have North Carolina on my scope. Um, so we'll be able to definitely do some talking there and uh, in Wisconsin, texture talking. Meanwhile, y'all don't have no questions. Well, let me tell y'all this. Shout out to the ladies, like I said, who decided to stay natural through this winter months because let me tell y'all what happened <laughs> let me tell y'all what happened there are a lot of people i was gonna whisper but i ain't gonna whisper i'm gonna say this out loud there's a lot of people who ran and got relaxers through the cold months and they were like oh my god i can't do it i ain't gonna do that you know listen when you go natural don't feel bad and don't make other people feel bad if they decide to get a relaxer and this is the reason why it's a process it literally is a process and everybody's not mentally prepared. See, what they think is, okay, I'm gonna go natural and they follow the style trends. But natural, going natural is not a style, it's a lifestyle. You have to literally change your mindset to actually be able to hold on to the concept of texture, which was not something until more recently that has been truly, truly accepted and, and saying that, you know what, we gotta we gotta take ownership of this part of ourselves that we were been have been ignoring for so long. So this is really, really new concept for a lot of people. Some people are in that mindset, well, you know what? I ain't never going natural. I'm gonna keep a relaxer in my hair. But after they start to realize the down parts are the part, the bad parts are the benefits of going natural, first of all, and then the bad parts of not uh of getting relaxers in their hair, they start to think, okay, it's starting to make sense because I remember when I got this far and I put my relaxer in, maybe if I could just went a little bit further, I would have been over there instead of now having to start all over again. Keep in mind, two things. So if you hear somebody that's saying, oh, I'm gonna get a relaxer um, because, you know, I'm gonna get a relaxer, but, 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 um, I, cause I can't do it no more and, and I just figure it out. Keep this in mind, anything that the relaxer touches the hair is now destroyed. Anything that the relaxer touches, you have to start over. It's going to break off. There's no way around that. I'm telling you guys this from being behind a chair for like 30 some odd years and watching the same pattern over and over again. And then finally get to a point where I say, you know what? Enough is enough. And, and keeping clients that allow me to walk through th them through the natural process, now seeing that their hair is so... Um, much healthier and this is the funny thing because you see people they'll get these relaxers right on their virgin they've grown all this beautiful natural hair out they'll get a relaxer they're walking around like i got me a relaxer well the reason your hair looks so good that first time around is because you put it on vir virgin hair and of course that all that hair is the first time process after that it's downhill because each time you get that new growth and a new growth and you relax it again and again, now you're overlapping. Everything weakens from there and anything that you had breaks off. So then you have to start the cycle all over again. Here's my tip, guys. Hold on to what you got. Hold on to your hair. Hold on to it because you can straighten your hair without relaxers. There's ways to wear your hair without texture if that's what you want to do from time to time. Keys. Number one, make sure you can get back to your curly. If all of your straight hair is straightened so much that it's past the elasticity point, elasticity point, then your hair is not going to curl back up. That's the issue. Okay, so here we go. All right, we got some questions on here. I'm so glad. Paula Green, I think I struck a chord with y'all. She says, "Wait, let me put my let me put my eyes on because I can't see Jack over there." Here we go. So what is the real definition of natural? Because some say you're only natural if the hair has never been dyed or relaxed. What do you say natural is? You know what? My, my definition of natural is going to be a little bit different, okay? I'm all about texture. I'm all about, um, I'm all about allowing the hair to stay in its natural state. If it comes back to its curly state, no, wonder, no matter if you've straightened it, not straighten if you've uh, colored it or not. Not so much relaxer. Relaxer is liquid Drano and it kills your hair, period. But I've worked with color and I've done colors on people and their textures stayed just fine. No problem. Texture came back, hair stayed healthy. I was able to deposit darker colors into it and allow them to keep on with their process and it didn't destroy their hair. 
So there's a difference between relaxer and color. The difference is with color, the way you manipulate the hair, it locks it in that place. And that's what causes the hair to damage out. Too much bleaching, too much lightening. But if you're going in and you're just covering some grays, you're depositing color. It's like filling up a straw. So that's not really a problem. So for me, for me right here, where I'm at around right here, I'm good with color. I love it. As a matter of fact, I think sometimes, you know, it accents, it accents what you have and gives you different ways to rock your natural and fall in love with it. So yeah, I'm not with the, um, some of them people that, that's so dead set on it. If you're not natural, listen, they don't wear deodorant either. I mean, they, I, I'm just being flat out real with you. Some of them smell like, um, you know, anyway, so I'm gonna keep on moving. Um, what does it mean? <laughs> Y'all know I'll be on one sometime. Don't go there with me. This hair is, is is natural if you natural. My natural is, ladies and gentlemen, finish it up. My natural, okay? Now go on somewhere. But you must tell. All right, Lauren Brewer, what does it mean to transition to natural hair? Does this just refer to someone who does not do the big chop? Because I know people who have transitioned to natural hair, but they wear their hair straightened every day. But doesn't this add to heat damage? Not necessarily. It depends on how you're doing it. And let me back up. I wasn't saying you were musty. I was saying some people I know, they be musty and then trying to tell people what to do. And I'm like, first of all, anyway, we'll go there later. But yes, this is what I, yes. Um, very good. So what does it mean to transition to natural hair? So transitioning to natural hair. Let me get let me get my thoughts back. As y'all know, I can I can really be on one for sometimes. But uh Transitioning to natural hair is literally um, getting, allowing the relaxed hair to break away and your new growth, which is your DNA produced hair to come out. Now, some people still straighten their hair. Some people use stretching techniques and silk presses, but I'm telling you, like for me, I have a lot of clients who still wear their hair straight, but literally as soon as I put the whisper whip in, it curls back up and they have the option to be able to wear their hair curly or um or straight so we had some uh questions on here esteban Perez. hola i like your name esteban says my hair has been beasting i have gotten tight curls cold wash and skipping shampoo sometimes thank you very very good those and using your hands because your hands are the best tools you could ever use all right esteban Perez, do you have to trim your ends though will that make it grow more absolutely if you skip trimming your hair, your hair will trim itself. So here's the reason why, especially if you're a person who combs your hair. Uh, and what I mean by that is you think about a curl, okay? A curl is like this. Let me hide this current comment so we can see. So a curl is, think about it like this. The teeth of a comb are straight. When it goes into your hair and you start to comb, even if you start from the bottom, you're literally causing tension. The hair strands will a lot of times snap off from the bottom. And it, just imagine this being one strand of hair. It's going to split like this and then it curls up anyway, okay? And that one strand is now weakened because it's in two parts and then right above that, it's now still blunt. Well, anything that's split, it'll keep on splitting all the way up, just like a afraid toothpick or you know how something or some thread or something that starts to unwind and it just keeps going until you cut it off and literally keep that end blunt. The thing is, is that the longer you allow those ends to stay blunt, the longer your hair is going to stay on your head instead of going in your comb. You know, the, the more you use your hands to detangle first and stretch out before you start combing, the more your hair is going to stay on your head. So, yes, the bottom line is that when you trim your hair down, when the split ends are small here, you don't have to cut it all the way up here trying to combat the split in. So for those of you who are saying, well, I'm not going to cut my hair because I'm trying to hold on to my strands, your hair is going to cut itself. So you need to cut it. Like that song used to say, cut it, cut it. Yeah, trim your ends. It's super, super important. Lauren Brewer, good to have you here. But um, yes, but it does. Okay, so now the heat damage thing, it can add to heat damage if a person doesn't know what they're doing. Like some people go in and they shampoo, dehydrate the hair. Then they condition, try to bring it back up, but it's not quite where it needs to be. Then they turn around and they they mold the hair and then they put them under a hot dryer, raising the temperature of the hair. Then they go take them out and they blow dry the hair, raising the temperature of higher. Then they go in and they flat iron the hair, raising the temperature of higher. Hair burns, okay, just like your skin. We have that flat iron about 350 to 400 degrees 
yeah, you're heating your hair up way past singe point and it's going to burn off and break off and causes heat damage so the goal is to keep your hair healthy and it can be done it can it can be done so that's a very very good question i appreciate that um giselle nick says what did i do about single strand knots even though i've deep conditioned and moisturized my hair often giselle that a, a fairy knot that's what you call a fairy knot fairy knots are literally formed when you have your natural shed hair OK, that's coming out the way it's supposed to, but it gets caught in a curl that has split ends. So if you're a person who combs your hair, you'll notice that after you combed your hair, that's when you'll get those fairy knots in your hair because your hair is going to naturally shed anyway. But those fairy knots get caught in the, the, the strands of your hair that are now split and kind of creating this web effect. And that's what's grabbing the hair. The, the thing you're going to have to do is go ahead you know, I would say blow it out, you know, get a blow out, you know, stretch it out and blow dry it out straight enough. You don't have to be bone straight, but straight enough for you to kind of see what, what you need to do and get a good trim on the hair. Make sure the person cuts all of the split ends off. That's when you'll notice a difference and you'll be able to go from there and continue on. What I did to my hair before I put it up in these, um, these little locks is I actually, um, did my hair a blowout and I got my hair, I probably cut a good inch or so off of my hair all over and then put it away so I don't have to look at it. That's a trick, okay? I put it away so I don't have to look at it. But I mean, I like my hair at every stage, but it's just so, so that you guys know you're empowered. You have options. When your hair is not as long as you would like, put it away. It's going to grow, but make sure you trim it before you do. Make sure you hydrate it before you do. And when you take your braids down, Hey, put that whisper whip right on the braids. True story. I have women who come in and um, they have sew-ins. You know, they keep those sew-ins in for a while. Well, when you take the hair off and you got those braids under there, you can lift the braid up off the scalp about that far. Sometimes that far, depending on how long they've been wearing them. Mm -hmm. So I take the whisper whip, put it all the way through, saturate the braids on dry hair. Put this right on the dry hair because the first thing your hair touches, that's what it absorbs. So we're going in with the whisper whip, hydration, massaging it in, get the scalp nice and massage because you know it's itching in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Then you start to take it down. Taking it down at that point with the moisture in your hair, you're not going to get as much shedding. You're not going to get all of the hair just kind of breaking off. So it actually creates a moisture barrier in the hair for you to be able to retain your length, okay? So there, there we go. I have another... Uh, comment here it says I got my hair colored so I can get ready for the spring summer color is beige blonde I'm loving my natural now I see you on the picture looking fabulous Linda Wiggins work it out all right pearly Daniels says okay Tendai it's been six years or so that I've been natural but I was only relaxing once one or two times a year anyway my question is why are my front ends still relatively straight it's been what Wait, let me back up. Hold on, hold on. Because you just gave me an oxymoron here, a double, you just double tongue me. It says, okay, Tenda, it's been six years. Okay, six, y'all with me? Six years or so that I've been natural, but I was only relaxing one or two times a year. During the six years? My question is, why my front end is still relatively straight? Yeah, you gotta answer me that, Pearly Daniel, because if you were relaxing your hair, That was strange. Okay, so let's get on back over to my natural is my natural. Dana Jackson, hey, hey, hey. Uh, what happened? I don't know what happened just then. Um, Fajur, for sure. I've been finger brushing too. You really have some jewels to drop. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Esteban. I love your name. I love your name, Esteban. No, before I became natural. Okay, Pearly, because I was about to have a whole heart attack and take my whole bundle back. <laughs> well, yes. Um, you know what? Do you wear your hair back in a ponytail a lot? Because there's tension straightening too. What I mean by that is like people who brush their hair constantly back to a ponytail. I saw a lady that she had brushed her hair back in a ponytail so many times. She was wearing this little bun, this slip-in bun. But 
it's like her her edges had moonwalked backwards. So her hairline started back here, about right here. And then she had this bun, a big thick bun glued right here. That's all I can say is. And then she want to argue with me about why her edges are gone. No, it's hereditary. It's hereditary. My th my question was hers. Like, does everybody in your family wear a bun back in that same spot, pulled to the back like that? And I just look at her. She's like, well, no, no, it's hereditary. It's hereditary. Well, my mama do wear a bun too. Have you ever thought about wearing the bun maybe towards your forehead some? Maybe that would change the direction. Oh, 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 my word. Yo, life, 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 life. Y'all sing with me. Life, life. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> y'all faces are killing me. It had moonwalked. Crystal said, oh my, yes. Up in a ponytail. A ponty. I'm not gonna call it a ponytail. I'm gonna call it a ponty tail. Cause ponty, somebody needs to tell your partner to stop pulling her hair back in a ponty tail. <laughs> I know I ain't got much, much sense. Uh okay. Kai Buck says, should I cut my natural hair? I mean, like really cut it because I feel like I have three different textures and it's hard to style or wear the style I was going for. Kai, um, you know, that's a good question. Now I have had some people that have come to me before who've had um, strange combos of hair like that. And literally I've had to be creative, like scrunching in some areas, um, making the hair, where it's uh, a lot. I just have to see the picture. It's one of those things that you have to have the right style that knows how to work with textures to make them all blend. But yeah, I would like to see. I would like to see that. <laughs> I would like to see that. Yeah. Are y'all singing with me? Live, 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 live. Live, live. Lauren Brewer, you know, I, you you should you start to learn that I don't have much sense. I really don't as I swing my ponytail. But this ponytail, y'all see how much hair I got around in here? This thing is loose. I'm not getting ready to pull all my edges out. No, man. No, no, man. I don't want my edges to be so gone over you, 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 yeah. No edges. Silly of me, you wasted so much time trying to go natural, girl. You're about to lose your mind, pulling your hair back in a bun, <laughs> in a ponytail. Wonder where your edges are gone. And now you're mad as hell. <laughs> oh, God. Tell me, how did I give life? Yes. How did I'm in a singing mood. So guys, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and post <laughs> post the uh, link to get your products. Pearly Daniel, make sure you inbox me after this show. We are um, really closing out. Um, oh, oh, Paula Green. <laughs> she said, we call them lonely tales. That's a good one. That is a good one. I see a t-shirt. Oh, Lonely Tales, Lonely Tales. Hey there, Lonely Tales, Lonely Tales. <laughs> it looks so neat like you do have the edges in tight. Girlfriend, no, these edges are loose, baby. And all I did was took my baby hair. These are my baby hairs. I took them down and I used my Argon Deluxe Gel plug combed it down and I just swooped some stuff in there. That's exactly what I did. I nobody, I'm not trying to lose my edges for nobody. You know, hey, they're lonely tales. Well, you know what? 
this has been a fun, fun night. I, you know, I shorten my show. I don't do an hour anymore. I do 30 minutes for you guys. And uh, we can talk about a whole lot of stuff. But I'll be right back here next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central on the Natural Hair Mag Facebook page. We're going to talk about more products. So just to re um, revisit, be sure to pick up your Whisper Whip Hydration and your Argon Deluxe Bundle. They are on sale now. I'm going to share a discount code that will allow you guys to get, I think, 30% off. We're going to do that. So make sure you check back in here once we get off of here. And uh, remember, drink your water. And I will, um, I'll see you guys. Lonely Tales. That's funny. Yeah. Lonely Tales. <laughs>